Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of The Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. And I have hair. What? We <laughs> don't allow <laughs> hair on this show. I didn't have Ricky. a hat, man. We don't. We don't I allow don't it. Have so get those us. cool hats. They're not cool. I'm not gonna let you be on this show. <laughs> You're gonna talk bad like oh, that. Thank you, man. Thanks no, I do appre- I do appreciate you being on the show with us, filling in for uh Chrysler Keith, who yes, is sir. out, I'm just kidding, it's not anything like that. Keith is actually at a graduation today. He's finally graduating high school. Yeah, I know. Just kidding, he's not. He's not he's that not. old. He is, he's not that old. <laughs> he is at his daughter's graduation, so he is off today, and Ricky has agreed to come on and uh, help us out today, so thank you. I really, really appreciate uh, it. you got to turn man. down your volume on your... What? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything either. Very good. And welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for watching with us today, joining us. We've got a really interesting episode for you today. Um, As usual, we are going to be answering your questions. Luckily, Ricky is with us and does know a couple of things, so he will be able to answer some of your questions. Uh, So get those in, and we will try to get to as many of those as possible. We are at uh, Mud Buddy headquarters today. We're kind of in a back shed because... It is going to rain any moment. So, well... Ricky, your thoughts on the rain. This is... I like the rain. You like the rain. I do like the rain. I grew up in Mexico City. Rain is pretty common. I Uh love the smell of rain. Dude, I I mean, I have no complaints. Other than I wish I could wash my car, you know... No complaints. It is... May. It is almost the end of May. It is. I, I'll give you is, that. It was I'll like 40 that. degrees yes. yesterday, okay? It was 7, 80 degrees last week. I Where I did know. that go? Where did that go? Where did exactly. Go? Um, so, yes, get those questions. We are going to answer those. In the meantime, though, uh, while we're letting people jump on, Ricky, what has been happening this week? Any good stories to tell? Anything wild, crazy, Man. worth telling? the world you know I share offices with Keith and (laughs) good story (laughs) it is interesting man I love it okay 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 okay. while Keith is away and has no choice (laughs) what is the most annoying himself he can't defend himself what is the most annoying thing about sharing an office with Keith it gets smelly sometimes like in what way? Take that, Keith. Like, like, uh, like elaborate. Oh, elaborate on that. Have you ever been in a teenager's bedroom? Like, I remember my bedroom when I was 17. <laughs> there, I, I mean, my nose was, there was no sense of smell in my nose. It's kind okay. of. It's kind of like it's that. It's two of us, man. All right. I, um, I mean, I'm not going to blame it all on Keith. I'll take 5% of that. Responsibility on me. Gross. <laughs> I uh, good. I'm, I'm gonna stay away from that office. Very good. But That's no, it. I mean, dude, that that guy knows a lot, and I actually just kind of like eardrop on his calls and whatever he's talking to you, whoever he's talking to. I I've learned a lot of things from him. He does know and, some things. Uh, yeah, I ask him for I'll tips. He asks me for tips and. We try to keep people happy, and we sure do. We like our customers. We sure do. We like them. Also, everybody, we do have Ambry with us today. Ambry is manning the camera today. Manning yep. the camera? Womaning the camera Womaning today the camera. Uh, for us. So we're really happy to have her with us. We also have a new, uh, we've got a new camera mount. So oh, if yeah. you all notice the smooth action of the camera today, you it know, is okay, nice, man. It is really nice. You know You're we welcome. Have, we know we have... Shut up. You're welcome. You know we have technical difficulty <laughs> quite frequently on this show. Yeah, I'm not um, going to say anything about your phone. So it's... we're pretty... Shut up. We're pretty <laughs> excited. Also, shut up. We're pretty excited about uh, this little piece because it's working so far. It is so awesome, far. man. Yeah, it we're is really, really happy nice. about that. Yes. Um, Amory, move up and down. You want me to jump? You want me to... No, take the off, take off to, running. It's the camera moving, not you moving. Oh. It's the camera moving. I'm gonna show my moves. Oh, okay, I do. Do you have your phone on? I, we need to do some callouts here. Oh man. Okay, this is what I love. I first I gotta mention this. This is an Android phone. Yeah, <laughs> get used to it. 
Well, oh, it's no, the worst. This is Rick. You're going to want to have this it. Is, no, no, this is Ricky's phone. But his uh, text or his, uh, his messaging that's come through is like written in some weird cursive. It's not why cursive. Is, why is that? You see, the nice thing about Androids is that you can't personalize them. I mean, personalize, you like, personalize um, a text. Like, 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 like handwritten? Digital. I mean, it's barely legible. No, oh, whatever. Man, I just gotta say. Welcome to 2019. <laughs> what? Um, no, yeah, get an iPhone. No. Welcome to 2019. Yeah. Um, David Millistrom is on um, in North Carolina. What's up, David? Good to have you on. Bob Dreyer is with us as usual. Uh, and he actually has a question. Um, Bob Dreyer, quick question, guys. I'm about to pull the trigger in a new motor and want to know if there's anything new coming out. <laughs> Bob. Oh, Bob. Bob. Oh, Bob. Bob. Is Bob, there anything Bob. new coming out? Bob, you know I can't say anything <laughs> about that. I mean, Why I appreciate, you ask those I appreciate the faith that you have and, and the method of your madness. To ask about that. The smoothness. The smoothness. Yeah. It's very well done. Like, but you I'm know I it, can't. <laughs> but, but. You know I can't say anything about yeah. that. Bob. But stay Although, tuned. Although, Bob. Yes. Bob, it's always also easier to ask that question in a non-public <laughs> forum. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Yes. Is that okay to say? It is. Don't about. ask in a public yeah. forum. Yeah. But that's all I'm going to say. That's all, that's all I'm yeah. going to say. Bob, Bob, look at me, Bob. Okay, good. I got Mark Harrell on. Um, do you have step-by-step -step instructions on how to install a BPS cam to the 4400 HDR? We do not. You will actually have to talk to BPS about I think, that. Uh, but they we, will. Yes, they will tell you how to do it. Like a step-by-step. -step, oh. And if not, Travis over there will be able to walk you through exactly. it. Corbin yeah. as well. Um, so that it should be a pretty... They're great over they, there. They, they, Travis knows a lot. He's, he's learned a lot from me. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I hope Travis is watching. <laughs> I oh, don't know, man. man. That's awesome. But I'm going to hear it if he is. You will hear it. Just ignore the messages. Man, maybe that should be our competition too. You versus Travis? Oh, uh, he On what? I don't know. Hey, Travis competition with uh, your dog calling. Well, Travis competition with I'm just saying like maybe, maybe yeah some sort of almost like we did the the that running and everybody was running yeah. around to to do the thing first. I got tired watching you. Well, he you know because he's he's a pretty spry, he's pretty spry. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Travis? Something there. Um, okay. Uh, David Millerstrom, where can I find instruction on checking the valve lash on a five thousand? HDR. Um, there is the manuals on uh, modbody.com. We have all the instructions for the brakes. It's, a, it's just a brakes and strutton manual. Right. Really, it's a, there's no difference. I believe after your 10 hours, so you want to check the valves and put them on intake valve. Oh uh, man, I don't remember the numbers. I have written. I think the intake is anywhere from five to seven thousands, and the exhaust is from six to nine thousands. And it looks like go to mobody.com. We do have that information. We, that in, yes. info probably is on the website, but you can also contact. Call me. Yes, call. I don't you. know my phone number yet. I should. <coughs> call the shop. Three five two. Eight zero one one. Eight zero one one. I know my first my and daughter, ask for Ricky. Yes, ask for me or Enrique at mybody dot com. Um, yeah, send an email. Send me an email. I'll send you anything and everything you want. Um, so David Millstrom, who's asking as that, go. Uh, he's asking that question. Um, he he's, he says he's new at this and he's he's got about ten hours on that motor. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah. So that's really awesome. So David, contact us if um, if none of that made sense about the phone number and the email. Leave a message on this, and we'll get we'll get back to you, David, because we we have answers for you somewhere. We do. They may it's not, not be. Find them. They may not be in your head right now, but we have them for sure. Um, good, good. Ethan Nimmer is on. Jeff Mullenix for Team Jeff. <laughs> yes. Um, which he says, Team Nebraska, Team Jeff. Absolutely, I love it. Uh, I'm new on this, so just watch out. 
Uh, Bob Dreyer says he's actually just listening to the show because he's driving. Oh, okay. So he can't, he can't yeah, watch it. Safe. But, sorry, Bob. I was doing a lot of like eye contact yeah. and pointing. So he was Bob, is what, at I, you. Is what I'm saying, Bob, because <laughs> I'm saying look at me. Bob, call me later. Okay, send me a message. That's what I'm saying to you, Bob. Okay. Um, all right. Nicholas Sellers is back on. Nick, what's happening, my friend? Rick Hillicoss is on. Rick. Uh, Jeffrey, love my hoodie, but it created a problem. My wife likes it so much, she's trying to steal it. <laughs> I know, man. It's, it's the yeah. fight. We like to You have to contention. buy her a new one. We do have women's. We do have women's shirts. And hoodies. Are they different? Yeah. Are you For sure? sure? Yeah, I have like three women's ones. Oh, I thought they were all just kind For of the sure. same. No, we bought um, <clears throat> a a slightly different um, brand for the women that are a little bit more fitted. Well, there you look go. at that go. So uh, Rick, there's an answer for you. Yeah. We can, <laughs> yeah, like there, there is, that is news to me. <laughs> good job. Good you job. Don't wear women's See, no, I guess. You know, we all learn something <laughs> yeah. in these shows. We all and get together know, and we all know, learn. I don't know if it's the same for you guys in marketing, but in the shop, we are always the last ones to know. Whatever happens, well, we're always the last. That's by design. Okay, then I will. You're like feel a bad. leaking sieve in there. We can't tell you guys anything. I won't feel bad then. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so let's get into our show today. It's exciting. Is it? I'm not gonna burn anything <laughs> down, but there's no fire. I don't know why you're excited. <laughs> No, uh, we're, we just wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about how tough these motors are and some of the pieces in them that are incredibly durable. Yes. And to do that, we have put together a small demonstration. You scrap them together. Yes. So, what do we have going on? Tell us, right, Ricky. So I'm going to pick this up because this isn't the this, first piece. Well... Which one do you want first? Let's do this one first. This? Yes. All right, so this is the, um, this is the belt housing. Motion base. Ian yes. actually corrected us on this. He said, you have to, you have to say it right. You, it is the outdrive motion base. The outdrive motion base yes. is the technical term for that this piece. That is the technical term. That's what the, uh, the drawing says. So you're welcome, Ian, and thank you for correcting me. But it is the belt housing. It is um, cast aluminum. And this thing, I don't know exactly. I don't want to name names or anything like that. I'm not about trashing anybody. But um, this is very strong. Yes. It is 3 8 cast aluminum. 3 8 is, cast aluminum. I mean, if you don't know what 3 8 is, it's really thick. Um, it is cast, like I said, cast three eighths aluminum, and it, it, it is machined. Is, yes, and I, I'm gonna jump in just because I've I've been over and I've seen them actually cast this, oh, we, yes. and it is a crazy process. In fact, it's X-rayed for imperfections. It is yes. Go to YouTube, top, top of the line. Uh, I think it is. Type in HDR, and there's a there's a video on how they make this. Yes. Yeah. It is amazing. Yeah. It, it, I mean, all of this, all of us nerds, like mechanic -y, like building nerds like me, we like this kind of stuff. You'll see it in action. You'll see how they cast it. You'll see how it is x-rayed for any um, imperfections. We look for hairline, uh, uh -huh. hair thick cracks for any, any of that. It gets rejected. Okay. You know, I mean, yes. But why? That's the question, why? I will tell you why, because if there is a, a, a hairline crack that you don't see in this thing, obviously I'm not gonna see it with my eyes. No. Um, if it happens to be somewhere, like a weak spot, let's say that it's somewhere right next to this uh, tap hole right here, you don't see it. But as if you, let's say that you are in the salty, you're running, you're going over to the hole, wherever you're going, and you hit a rock. Right. You hit a rock, you hit a stump, Never. that... <laughs> what, what was I saying? <laughs> yes, you would never do that. Yes. Anyway, so you hit, a, you hit a rock, you hit a stump, you hit anything, that hairline crack, it'll yes. explode. Exactly. So that's why we x-ray these things. 
they are top of the line quality. We don't want that to happen to you guys out there. When it's cold, when it's raining, when you are really fast going to whatever you gotta go. Yes. We don't want that to happen, and uh, we take we we spare no expenses um, when we try to deliver you the quality that you deserve. Um, All right. So tell us. So now, where on the motor does this tile talk, talk, talk about the placement and what is protecting? This is protecting your your transmission is gonna be right here. This, the belt goes down all the way around here, and then you have your bottom belt, uh, your bottom sprocket on this part. Then the drive comes out right here. There is the motor on this area right here. And so this is, you, so if you're running it, let's say, when, you, when you're running, this thing's going like this in the water, and whatever you hit, it's gonna hit, if it doesn't hit the drive, it's gonna hit somewhere down here, I believe. Yes. And. Um, Whatever it is, like I said, this takes this along with the drive takes a lot of the beating yes. from your uh, from whatever you want to go. And you're going right. Your belt's in there. The belt is in here. Yes. So therefore, much, Ian, much, this is a belt housing. <laughs> it is brother. the belt housing, as we have learned today. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's an important piece. Very needs to be strong. Very very strong. Ours is the strongest. By nobody far. by far by nobody's far. making that thick you know, of cast I don't think them. nobody does man mm -mm. nope no no um, I am actually gonna have you try it you want me to try it yes please all right what am I trying uh, this is gonna be this is where the fun part comes ah ah this is the hammer or hammer, the hammer of like, Thor. The hammer, yeah. I'm. Just, I just okay. want to see you doing it. You want me to hit yes. that? I want, want you that piece. Hit. With Let's that pretend hammer. that you are a rock. Okay. And this motor is running in the water, and you're gonna go and be like, "Hey, I want to break that thing." And then you're gonna try. It. Okay. Now this is a this is not common sledgehammer. This is. I don't know where this came from, but this is a 10 pound sledgehammer. Asgard. <laughs> Somewhere like that. But it's not, there is not a, the handle is not a wooden handle. No. Look at this. It's a freaking drive shaft tube. From a long it's tail, dude. It's, it's from a long tail. This is that another 10 pounds. Yikes. Well, no, it's not 10 pounds. It's maybe. Five more pounds, but um, and can you lift it? <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? Probably, <laughs> probably not. Um, All right. So this you, is gonna get loud. This is. So you want me to hit? You want me to, to hit? That. What do you want to do? You want me to uh, hit? No, it? I will hit it. You want to hit? But before it? that, I got a couple of callouts I gotta do. Let's do it. All right. Um. First of all, I got Ron Demers asking the always important question: What size prop for a 14 horse Vanguard? You got that? I'm guessing it'll well, be a little. It'll be a it's little long be tail a mini, or a mini. A mini or a long tail. Um, so I'd probably say your 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 big blade prop is probably well, going to be no, your best. The or blade, or would you use that that tiger prop that goes? The with tiger. Um, you know what? Keith or Micah, they were not because they are old or anything. But they were here before I was, and they know a lot more about the props for the long tails, if that, that is what you have. Um, there is, we have the Tiger, It also, I mean, it depends on what kind of boat you have. Right. You know? Yes, what kind of um, load you're pushing. The load you're pushing, yes. the boat that you have, a 14 horsepower, I'm, I'm almost positive it's gonna be a long tail. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me know what you have. Yeah, give us a little more info on that, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump that. Ron Demers also asked, show us that grab bar. You just wait a second. We're gonna get to this grab bar. <laughs> uh, Monica Harris is on. Hey, Monica, hey, good Monica. to see you. Um, yes, Monica saying we need to give some stuff away, which we do. We didn't. We I don't think we gave anything away last week, and everybody's pretty sad about it. You know, I was not here last week. Was I? I don't remember what I No, I don't know where you were. Um, I've never played 
serious anything just regular maintenance. Oh, Mark, Mark Staub, um, I have a 2004 hyperdrive with over a thousand hours on it and have never replaced anything, just regular maintenance, the best surface drive out there. There's the keyword right there. Maintenance. Regular maintenance. Regular maintenance, absolutely. Yes, sir. Very good. Awesome, Mark, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I've got Jeff Bukes on uh, for Team Jeff, which is awesome. Okay. Did you see that Jeremy was on? Um, I've not seen Jeremy. Jeremy Coe. Jeremy Coe. Oh yeah, Jeremy is on. Uh, I guess, whatever. Listen, did you see... Um, <laughs> I like you how you express your love for all of us, man. I mean... I know, I'm in a yeah. mood. I guess I'm in a mood today. You are on no, one. Jeremy, hey, hey buddy, did you see their show yesterday? I did not. They, I was working. So was I. No, they, uh, they had a little competition. Uh, he and Jay Paul, they went, out, they went out fishing again. Care to guess what the score was? J Paul No, it was zero to zero. Oh. Another tie. Skunked out there. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Um, it was a real, it was a real nail biter of a show. That's awesome. Hey, it was actually of, really funny. They were out on the Bay Pro Two Two Hundred Three, which was. I awesome. saw, I saw the preview for that, yeah. and I saw, and I saw uh, J Paul. His big old smile. He's going. He's, he's. Um, I mean, I can see him on the boat on the Bay yeah. Pro. I mean that. That's a nice boat. That is a nice I got boat. to work on one of those things That's last right. week. Yeah, that is right. I Remember saw that? you out there yeah. working on that. I did not um, want to get out of that. No, it's <laughs> a sweet boat. I, I, I prolonged that job for as long as I could, <laughs> and then at the end of the day, it was like 10 p.m. and Glenn came over. He's like, "Are you done?" I'm like, "Nope, not no, done yet. No, I'm not done yet. I'm no. Still, I'm still yeah. just I need to go it test out. it. Uh -huh. so, we gotta get out on the yeah. water. Make sure." It, Make yeah, sure that did not run. No. Good. He didn't let me. All right. Okay. I'm gonna hand this back to you, and I'm gonna give this to you. Okay. And I'm gonna heft. In fact, I'm gonna give you Amber's phone too, because I'm just gonna wreck everything. I'm sure. Scoot that back a little bit so I can see you better. I don't want to stand in the rain. Out. Close your ears. Gotta, where do you want to hit it? Where are you gonna hit it? Where should I? Where should I hit it? Anywhere I want. Well, am I this, right for the middle? This right here is the base plate, so nothing is ever going to hit right there. Um, most likely to hit somewhere, it's going to be somewhere in the bottom. All right. To hit anything. Think like a rock. <laughs> I'm nervous now. Uh, it's like chopping wood. Awesome. It's like a, it's like an axe. Yeah. All right. To the light. Here. Take that. I'm gonna take this. Alright, so you did dented it a little bit. See, I put some also dents in it. You did. With this big old Is that just the powder coating now? This is the powder coat, yeah. I mean the, the aluminum it is a little dented as well. But I mean you guys let us know. Are you ever gonna hit anything that hard up? I, I cannot imagine I getting anything don't know. with that like direct kind of force. You know, I, I don't think so. Let us know, but uh, I don't know. Do you want me to show the inside of it? It's dirty. Yeah, you show the inside of it. <clears throat> there is absolutely nothing. Yeah, like you couldn't even you tell. wouldn't tell. You wouldn't even know. No, no. Wow. I mean this part right here, Mark, because we are. Against the asphalt, but yeah, beat that, beat that. So it's tough. Good. All right. Good times. Anybody else? And, and uh, I mean, take a swing. I think I hit it like four times before you did. Yeah. No, you did. You, you and Ian. Yeah. Ian was going at it too. Yeah. 
And uh, so and I made it. That mine. is that is a three eighths cast aluminum motion base. Yeah. You belt, will not break it. Belt, belt housing. Belt housing motion base. Yeah. Belt yes. housing, belt casing. Um, what other names I've heard? <laughs> I don't know. I'll drive motion base. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Good. So we know that that is strong. That's a good, strong piece. We're proud of that. We like it. We are it. very proud of it. Let's talk now about this. This is not a drop bar. It's not. It's not a drop bar. No. This is the handle. This is a raw, unwelded handle. Got it. Um, the Mini, 2019 Mini, 2018 HDR, and uh, 2019, obviously, 2018 Ford HDR has this handle. Now, our previous handle, I don't remember, I think it was a 7 8 pipe. This is a one and a half inch stainless steel pipe. Right. Um, it is one and a half times stronger than the one than the we original. had before. Yeah. Uh, we bend it, we cut it, no, we buy it cut. We bend it here in house. The machine that we bought to bend it, um, Honestly, Juan is the one that bends these things. Uh -huh. uh, he could not remember the numbers, but it is in the four to six hundred pounds to bend this thing. Jeez. And I mean, just to put this angle, I don't remember the angle. Yeah. Um, but uh, I was jumping on this thing. Yes. Well, let's <laughs> let's uh, go show him. I am a hundred and I'm one hundred and twenty pounds. That is not true. On my left arm. In your left like, arm. Whatever. <laughs> I'm like 120 pounds. <laughs> like, I weigh a lot more than that. All right. So, you want to hold my hand so I don't. I die? don't. I don't want to hold your well, hand. Thanks. In fact, it's raining out there. Thank so. You. Uh, All right. So I'm a 160 pound guy, and uh, I was jumping on this thing. I'm not afraid of hand. dying. I don't want to. But uh, what? I said to hold his hand. I'm worried. I, no, I'm not holding. No, his hand. no, no. no. Okay, I've done fine. this before. So, me jumping on it. What do you think? It doubles my weight. It's somewhere around there. I mean, that's gonna uh, put a lot more. I don't know. Three hundred pounds. <laughs> Seriously, man. There's no way nobody's gonna bend this handle ever. Mm -mm. And that's stainless steel. This is all stainless steel. Everything that we put now in the HDRs, everything is stainless steel. Or the aluminum, because that, that's a well, the aluminum cast. Yes, uh, obvious. Yes. Yeah, but um, this is a really strong handle. Like I said before, it's one and a half times stronger than the than the one we had before. I believe it takes. Uh, no, I'm not even gonna say numbers because I am afraid I'm gonna yeah, say wrong. You don't want to say wrong. Yeah. But, but um, no, it's a it strong is, piece. It is very strong. I have never, ever, ever heard from anybody bending a handle. Mm -hmm. Not the old ones, much less. Yeah, the old ones were were very strong yeah. to begin with, and this is even stronger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. We had a scale. Uh, this is a funny story. We had a scale a long uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, we, Bill, the engineer, we actually hooked up one of the older handles. To a trailer with a come along. Oh yeah. And I mean the scale topped out at a thousand, like a thousand pounds, uh -huh. and we could not bend that thing. And that was the old handle. Yeah. We could not bend it. Good. All right. So, so you could uh, keep that piece with you and keep Keith in line with it in your office. <laughs> I have another one too. So add it to my collection. Add it to your collection. Yes. Good. No, Keith has enough problems of his own. He sure does. <laughs> um, all right, then that is uh, that concludes our uh, demonstration. Thank you, yeah. Ricky, for yeah, for showing that. That's just a few of the parts. I yeah. mean, of course, all of the parts in these in these mud motors are yeah. incredibly strong. They are designed that way. Um, what's also awesome is that 99% of these motors are built in the United States, and, and in, most of these parts are actually made here in Utah, within a 25 mile radius. Yeah. So we, uh, we're really lucky to yes. have some of the, the manufacturers around that we do. And we take a lot of pride on that. We take a lot of pride in yes. that, absolutely. Yep. They're great. 
Really, really great. All right, that does it for us today. That's kind of all I have. I didn't have a long show. I mean, Keith, long-winded well, Keith. Well, you know, it's isn't... kind of boring when Keith is not here <laughs> telling those stories. Nobody has, like, life uh, and death situations yeah, happening, no, you I, know? I don't, man. I mean... But I will tell you, next week we are going to be back out on the boat. Um, unless it's all rainy. Can I go with you? You Maybe. I have a new boat. You did get a new boat. You You're very it? excited yeah. about your I new boat. So, I yes, guess. we'll have yep. to get you out and see if you can hit anything better <laughs> Probably than not. Keith and I. Because no. Keith and I are still... Probably not. Well, I guess I'm, I'm one. I'm one. He's zero. Yeah. At least, yeah. I did hit one. Yeah. I hit one. Zero. So you're winning. I am winning. I'm officially winning now, everybody. So, I mean, no surprise there. <laughs> Just kidding. But do um, come back and join us next week. That'll be next Wednesday at, uh, at 3 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. We're going to try and get out. Um, if but the, the weather, weather is weather the weather you. is so bad. Yeah. And uh, Casey Grady, who is on. Come uh, here. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a little closer here. Um, I'm gonna get your phone all wet, and we'll see how it. It's. It, you know what? Just don't. Just yes. don't. Anyway, uh, join us. We're gonna try and get back out and uh, and uh, show you something fun with these motors. All right, um, everybody. Thank you so much. We are gonna answer the rest of these questions um, online. We'll get back with you because there are quite a few on here that I do want to answer. So we will do that uh, personally. Uh, great. Thank you, everybody, so Thank much. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there, and we'll be back right here in the shallow water. We love you.